I knew you could kill them. You are a real warrior. Did you see my spices? I hope there were some left so I can recoup some of my losses. But first things first. As promised, here is your garden. Thank you once again, my friend. You are one brave fighter. Good luck on your travels.
Hmm, advanced chord progressions. Oh, master the circle of fifths. Blood sacrifice. Hmm, advanced chord progressions. My best goat is gone. Have you seen it, traveler? Please, help me have a look around. My eyesight is not the best anymore. It was grazing, right here, under the Argon tree. I only dozed off for a few minutes. And now it is nowhere to be seen. Melita! If I had to guess, I would suspect that this mischievous musician who lives up the hill has nicked it. No idea why, but that guy is not right in the head. Yes, of course this goat is mine. Always has been. And today is its special day. But if you are so interested in it, maybe we could come to an understanding. How? Well, a group of Egyptians have started coming increasingly close to my little camp. Take care of them, and we can make a deal. Oh, and bring me back one of their heads, as proof. 
A proportionally correct and generally all-around decent Egypt and head would be just great right about now. Wonderful! Such a head is an even better sacrifice to the dark powers of music than this goat! Look at these horns! I'll take that, and you can have the goat, as promised. While I was waiting for the stars to align right for the blood sacrifice, I trained the goat to climb trees! Pretty swell, right? You saved my goat! Bless you, stranger, for your honesty! You must also be a friend of animals.
Some of our goods are for trade. Do you know carob pods? You can use those to sweeten your provisions. Safe travels. What, the garden? Oh well, yes, it lies to the west. As far west as one can go. But we always give that place a wide berth. It is the end of the world, they say. And the daughters of Nyx are guarding it fiercely. You would be a fool to enter. A fool, you hear me? Though I can tell you more about it. The Hesperides were fathered by the Titan Atlas, though some say it was the Hesperos, the star of the evening. In any case, Atlas was the only one who ever managed to take their apples away for a while. And he did so for Lord Heracles, while he stood in for Atlas in his usual task of holding the world. Want anything stored? Watch out in these mountains, my friend. Where are you from, Carthage? Then go back there, or better yet, all the way back to Canaan. We already see too many of your kind coming here. We people of the Rift like to keep to ourselves. We do not need your fancy clothes, nor your strange child devouring gods. Ooh. I see. South. Far in the south.
Welcome, traveler. Good luck. Oh, you scared me. I thought you were a goner for sure. Not yet, maybe. So, what were they like? The Hesperides. Beautiful beyond mortal comprehension, no doubt. Hey, wait. Don't tell me. I see you've brought something. Oh, you actually found it, did you? It looks so... ordinary and not quite golden. I don't think that is an apple. Well, hero, I guess this is it. Never thought the day would come, but according to the texts, we have all that we need. Are you ready to go to Atlantis? <laughs> I know I'm not. Gadir is treating me well, but forget about that. Let us set sail and go forth boldly. No time like the present. Um, is it safe? Am I dreaming or is this really Atlantis? I can't believe it! Oh, we braved the open sea and the whirlpools, yet emerged triumphant! Yes, yes, this must be Atlantis. I can feel it. Why don't you go explore inland and see what you can find? Report back here if you come across anything interesting. All your belongings have survived the journey intact. If you don't make it back, your possessions legally belong to the caravan. You shouldn't let your possessions own you. Or in other words, I think you might be a hoarder. When exploring, it is important to take a break once in a while. This jungle gives me the creeps. Might I suggest a sturdy sword for cutting through the undergrowth? You don't have to pick up everything.
Hello, human. I've been wondering how long it would take until someone finds us here. I am the sole survivor of this once great city of Atlantis, my name long forgotten. Poseidon spared me to bear witness of what has happened here, of how his rage ended our civilization. Many centuries have I existed here in solitude, unable to escape. I was once chief artificer of this place. Many a wonderful thing have I built, too wonderful. We challenged the god of the seas with ships built out of metal that could move without his winds. I've seen oceans and lands beyond your known world where strange cultures grow. Needless to say, our city became rich, but our leaders were corrupted. Our empire became an affront to the gods and we were finally punished for our greed. And lately it seems more trouble is brewing. Evil miscreants have come to defile the ruins of our once beautiful island. How they found their way, I do not know, but they are here. Have you come to stop them, I wonder? The Tritons, the Serpentoids, the Patamoy. A coalition of evil has claimed our once beautiful city. Their commanders bicker and squabble, yet their might is formidable. Something is uniting them, unseen and in the shadows. Its power emanates from the Temple of Poseidon at the heart of Atlantis, but nobody can get inside. All three of their leaders were there when they created the magical seal. Each leader had a part in it, so all of them may be needed to break it. The native! Oh my, well, better follow their instructions, I guess. You're the vanguard of this expedition, after all. Just don't do anything I wouldn't do. You're going inland to explore, I take it. Might I ask you to look around for anything edible? The ship's store of food is running rather low, and I fear we might get into trouble on the return journey, unless we can find some fresh supplies in this strange place. By Poseidon, what is this? A fruit? I don't know, it looks icky, but beggars can't be choosers, I reckon. I'll send out some men to look for more. With a little luck, this might be it. 